it's Cardo, Tommy Cavan, and I will be conducting today's service from here in the UK. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Therefore, let us pray in this way. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Now, if there's any prayers to be said for deceased or any relatives or that, just put them in the comment section and we'll see it after the service. We'll now recite the Creed. I believe in God the Father, Almighty Creator of heavens and earth. I believe in Yeshua, the Christ, his transcendent Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born to mankind. He was crucified, died, and on the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and was seated at the right hand of the Father. He has come again to judge the living and the dead. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I believe in the word of God, the return Christ, Lord Rael. In his great commandment, love God, love each other. In the holy ecumenical order of Christ, for the forgiveness of sins. The resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Now today's reading is the Elysium, the Divine Throne, and this is uh, from the book of the Return Christ and his teaching that was passed down from the Lord. Now the Bible has given you clues about the Divine Throne, but it's time that you learn the full story. Ezekiel tries to describe it somewhat convolutely explaining wheels within wheels, but Daniel gives a much clearer description of the sun gleaming, gleaming off the wheels, making it appear to be on fire. Daniel 7, 9 <coughs> I beheld two thrones were placed, and one that was ancient of days did sit. The cement was as white as snow, and his hair on his, of his head was like pu uh, pure wool. His throne was fiery flames, and the wheels thereof burning fire. John goes further to describe its location for us. In Revelation 4.2, And immediately I was in the Spirit, and behold, there was a throne set in heaven, and upon the throne one sitting. The King David tells us in Psalms 103 uh, verse 19, The Lord hath prepared his throne in heaven, and his kingdom shall rule over them. But the Lord himself clar clarifies it all in Isaiah 66 1. Thus said the Lord, Heaven is my throne, the earth is my footstool. What is this house that you will build for me? And what is this place for my rest? Elysium was the Father's throne away from Nibiru, but he has given it to his son, Lord Royal. So now you know, understand what John 14.2 means. John 14.2 In my father's house there are many mansions. If not, I would have told you because I go to prepare a place for you. The ancient people 
were very aware of where the Lord and the lesser gods dwelt, and those who were allowed to see it wrote many stories of the paradise of Elysium. It is also known as the White Island in the Black Sea, because all of its inhabitants were virtuous and it floated in the Black Sea of Space. So let us put all these clues together, brothers and sisters. The, Lord throne, the Lord's throne is in heaven. It incorporates wheels and its position makes earth into its footstool. Elysium is real. As we've said many times, Hollywood gives you glimpses of the hidden truths to prepare you for what is coming. And in the 2013 movie, Elysium is one of the best examples. Elysium showed this utopian paradise above a place where bodies are perfected and life is beautiful. It also shows the dystopian earth below it after it had become the outer darkness. Matthew 25.30 And the unprofitable servant cast ye out into the exterior darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. You may have noticed in the movie that almost all of Elysium's inhabitants were white, the White Island, with some Asian and a few exceptional people from other races, while Earth was almost entirely Hispanic, with a few black and white criminals. This is the result of the New Kingdom epistle, one determin determination of nations. There is a very important lesson in the movie for the realites within the EOC. While most people saw Matt Damon and the Raiders of Elysium as the heroes of the movie, taking Elysium away from those greedy elitists who lived there, you must keep something in mind. You are those elitists. So you need to see the repeating historical truth in the movie that is playing out today. History has shown us that every great society is brought low where the, the lesser societies are envious and willing to do whatever is necessary to take the greater society for themselves. You see it today with hordes illegally crossing into the United States destroying the country's Eurocentric culture, greatly burdening, burdening the criminal justice system seen throughout uh, Europe where African and Middle Eastern refugees uh, are invading, robbing and vandalising and demanding welfare benefits while raping the European women and their children. History teaches us over and over again that one group does everything while the other group does nothing and resents the hard working group for their good work. They will do whatever is necessary to take it away from them, but they don't have the skills to maintain it, so they just use it up and destroy it waiting for the hard working group to build something else great for them just to take it. America had beautiful and clean cities inhabited by the hard working and educated upper class. But the non working lower class always invaded the cities, destroying them and forcing the hard working upper class to flee into suburbs where the whole cycle repeats itself. It will never happen to Elysium because only those who are found worthy will be able to get there. Elysium 
as the kingdom of heaven. But there shall be an earthly kingdom as well, as new Jerusalem will land and become the capital city of earth. Though the Lord's throne is in Elysium, he will live among his subjects on earth in the new Jerusalem. Revelation 21-3 And I, John, saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven, prepared of God as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold the tabernacle of God with men, and he will dwell with them. And they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them, and be their God. Now the inhabitants of uh, Elysium are the chosen 144,000 children that will be taken from this earth, be taken up there to learn for the thousand years. That will be uh, talked about in another uh, common sermon. Now, I would like to finish by saying the, the blessing. May our Heavenly Father bless and protect you. May He face you and shed His light and grace upon you. May He grant you peace, joy and everlasting love. Amen. Wherever you are in this world, brothers and sisters, as normal, love God, love each other,